Fox Weather is your Winter Storm HQ. This is a crippling blizzard. It's just pummeling California and the Nevada mountains. It is creating life-threatening conditions. This is not the time to be traveling. This is all along the Sierra Nevada range. Communities in the area could be buried with feet of snow. Neighborhoods, roads, all an issue. This is a look at the UC Berkeley Central Sierra Snow Lab at about 6,900 feet above sea level. And boy, conditions, they just continue to deteriorate. You've got some winds. That's going to be a big part of the story. We continue to watch a lot of cold air. Here's what we've got. We've got a big dip in the jet. All of these little circulating pieces of energy off the Gulf of Alaska are helping to bring in some colder energy in from the Arctic. That is slamming right into California. It's a perfect setup. And Kendall, I often talk about these little pieces of clouds look like popcorn that is cold unsettled air that will give us the chance for thunderstorms which we're already seeing along the coast and that also means you could see accumulating small hail those thunderstorms could extend into the sacramento valley right into portions of the right into the mountains into santa cruz and then the snow is going to pile up in feet Look yeah. at that. I mean, we have a lot of concerns. So we have the hail, we've got the rain, and then, like you mentioned, measuring the snow and feet again. So we are talking about adding on to the already impressive totals. Check this out. Yeah. A Sugar Bowl Resort. Want to highlight this. 20 inches of snow so far, Craig. A Homewood Mountain, 20 inches. Donner, 19.1 inches yeah. of snow. And we could see an additional two to as much as four feet still to come. Yeah. But then we have to talk about this component, and it's the incredibly strong winds big issue a lot of people are waking up without power in California Palisades Tahoe though a measured wind gust of 190 miles per Impressive. hour the highest elevations of the Sierra Crest Impressive. And uh, that's also why we're dealing with whiteout conditions, which is why traveling or even stepping outside of your home could be dangerous. You could be disoriented based on the amount of snow that's blowing around. So please stay indoors. This is creating those winds. Those winds extend all the way over to the Great Basin.